the emperor, right? Take control of your life. The emperor is about the control, the authority, the establishment, the structure of your life. Take control of your life. Six of Cups, take control of your environment, possibly take control of your children. But take control of the situation. Three of Cups, again, so you can reestablish joy. Three of Cups has been in this reading three times. Three, what's three? Three is initial achievement, growth, expression, communication, right? It's been here three times. Three has been here three times. There's some growth. There's some change that needs to happen to restore happiness to your life. Five of Pentacles in reverse to get you out of the financial hole. This is recovering from financial loss to the two of wands so you can focus on your future. That's what these cards say. I know this isn't a love reading. It might be. This is definitely a relationship reading of some sort. But I know it's not all the stuff that's going around on YouTube about soulmates and love and how you're going to reunite and all the stuff everybody wants to hear, right? And sometimes that stuff does come out. It really does. Sometimes it comes out. But this is um, a foreshadowing for somebody out there. Um, perhaps you've already been through it. Maybe you're going through it. There's no resolution. It doesn't say, you know, I mean, it tells you how to, it tells you to stop doing this, right? To recognize what's happening and stop doing this. But there's no future outcome. It's just like a, a current situation that is about to happen in, um, in your life. And you have to be on guard. You're letting somebody take advantage of you. You're letting someone take advantage of you and they are um, causing grief in your finances and in your emotional um, comfort. Taurus. It's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. Yay! What's going on, you guys? Happy October. I love October. It's my favorite month ever. I love October. So we're here. And we are going to do a reading for the sign of Taurus. If you have Taurus anywhere in your chart, this reading may resonate with you. It's a general reading, right? General. Take it for shits and giggles with a grain of salt. It's a general reading, okay? The only way to know your real true story is to have your cards read. True. Straight up. It's the only way you're going to know your real story is to have your own cards read, right? You can binge watch tarot card readings till you're blue in the face, but you're never going to get the information, the wisdom, the guidance, the clarification that you need until you have your own cards read. So take this with a grain of salt. It is for entertainment purposes only. Okay. All right. All right. So it's going to work like it always works, Taurus. I'm going to shuffle. I'm going to pray. I'm going to lay out at least 15 cards. I'm going to talk about it as I clarify it, confuse the heck out of you, and sew together a story, okay? If the clarification process gets too long or too in-depth, I will fast forward on camera and we'll just pick up right where we left off, okay? All right, you guys. All right, let's do this. Let's do it. What's that trying to come out here? The Four of Pentacles. Can you guys see that up there? The Four of Pentacles. All right. Let's see what we get. All right. Spirit. Source. Universal energy. I have the Collective of Taurus with me. Spirit and Taurus wants to know what you know. What do you know about Taurus? And what does Taurus need to know about themselves? What's coming towards Taurus? What do they need to look out for? Ten of Pentacles. What do they need to look forward to? And most importantly, how do they navigate the coming situations and circumstances of their life for their best and highest good? Spirit, please arrange yourself in the way that you need to be seen in these cards to bring towards the information that they need to know and understand. Please tell me where the stopping point is. I will cut three times and I will pull straight from the top. Please give me the eyes to see and the ears to hear what it is you're going to say in these cards. Spirit, what does Taurus need to know? Spirit, what does Taurus need to know? Right there. All right. Let's cut them. Let's go. 
maybe. One, two, three. Right? One, two, three. Gotta wait for that pull, right? It's not just about dropping the cards, at least for me. I gotta wait for, for that pull. <laughs> All right. Ready? Oh, bottom of the deck. Five of Cups. What, Taurus? What? Five of Cups. All right. All right. The world in reverse. Some kind of a blockage, okay? To the Six of Pentacles. The giving, the receiving, the sharing of prosperity in life with others. To the Four of Pentacles. Control, stability, foundation. The Five of Swords in reverse. Resentment. Um... Resentment, open to change about that resentment. The Queen of Pentacles, possibly you holding title in your life. We'll see. The home, the family, okay? The star, hope, faith, purpose, renewal, divine orchestration, divine guidance. Okay, Taurus, here's what's going on, okay? All right, okay. This is a big one, okay? So the world in reverse, this is a blockage, right? The world in the upright is completion. It's the end of a cycle. You start moving, you compound your lessons from the past, you've learned your lessons, you've applied critical self-analysis, and you've, you've learned, right? The cycle closes and you carry on, right? In the reverse, that's not happening. There's something that you're not seeing that is a blockage somehow, some way to some kind of cycle closure in your life, okay? Six of Pentacles, the prosperity of your life. The prosperity of your life. The Four of Pentacles, we'll talk about that in a second. So there's a blockage to the prosperity in your life, okay? It's either happening now or this is foreshadowing and a warning of the future, okay? You will find celebration and justice in your options and choices and decisions if you oppose or don't go towards um, something, avert disaster, and manifest new prosperity someplace else. Period. Drop down. New paragraph. Okay? New sentence. Right? So there's a blockage to your prosperity and it's going to serve your best interest if you just manifest it someplace else, okay? Now what's going on? Well, the Four of Pentacles, the stability, the structure, the foundation of your life, home, family, whatever, right? The tower, there is, have, there was, is, or will soon be some kind of implosion, some kind of tower moment in your life. Somebody's coming towards you quickly with the chariot and the page of swords to give you some kind of information that throws you into your head. You can't see a way out of it. You're, you're scared. Um, you, you, can't, you, you don't see a way out. You just don't see a way out. So somebody's coming in with some kind of information that threatens the stability and the structure of your life of your security, I should say, okay, of your security, okay? Five of swords in reverse. This is um, a lot of resentment. Why? Queen of pentacles in reverse because there is an upset in the home or the family, okay? An upset in the home or the family. To the queen of pentacles, this would be you, in the helm, at the realm of your life, okay? King of Wands, your success, perhaps you're an entrepreneur, okay? But your success to the Eight of Pentacles, building, growing, learning, compounding your life lessons, building something of substance in your life, your success, your craft, mastering your craft, right? to the two of swords at a crossroads, 10 of swords in reverse, an inevitable ending, the seven of wands, trying to stop that or your challenge will be to stop that, to the five of wands in reverse, um, an increased focus on your goals, to the 10 of pentacles, talking about your money, the bottom line, Taurus, money in the bank. 
Okay, so what does all this say? All this says your stability is threatened by some information that comes in and it comes in hard and fast. Comes in hard and fast, okay? There's a lot of ill will, bad feelings, Queen of Pentacles in reverse because there are, um, I think, financial issues. Financial issues in your home, in your environment, okay? Queen of Pentacles. This Queen of Pentacles is you. And the King of Wands that comes on top of it represents your um, your passion, your desire to succeed and, and achieve. It represents um, a little bit of your ego. It represents um, your determination to conquer a problem. To the Eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles is working, engaging, um, building something. It is about perfecting your craft, learning your lessons, compounding your lessons to the Two of Swords at a crossroads. Why are you at a crossroads, right? Well, you've been successful. You've been working your ass off. You're doing good, sitting in your power as the Queen of Pentacles. And now this information comes in and boom, now you're at a crossroads, right? to the Ten of Swords in reverse. An inevitable ending, maybe. How to renew and regenerate. How to, how to save this situation. To the Seven of Wands. It's a challenge. It is a challenge. But you got to recollect and refocus yourself to the Ten of Pentacles. Eyes on the prize. The money. The bank account. That's what has to happen. Right. That's that's what you're that's what you're doing. Something comes in like a bowling ball and just freaking waylays everything that you got going on and you're scrambling to get it back under control again. OK. The star. This star is hope, faith, purpose, renewal, Aquarius. It's about recognition and understanding that there is a divine intelligence that knows the end game that we don't. It's about faith, right? To the five of swords in reverse, forgive and forget, open to change, resentment, knight of cups in reverse, Hurt feelings, death, an ending, a change, a transformation, seven of swords in reverse, breaking free from some kind of betrayal, deception, or deceit to the king of cups and being honest and fair with yourself and your emotions and sitting in a place of emotional balance, control, and security. Judgment in reverse. Bad decision. Bad decision. King of Pentacles in reverse steals your success. Bad decision steals your success. Page of Pentacles. Now you got to start all over again. Nine of Wands in reverse. <sighs> On edge, defensive defensive trying to protect feeling overwhelmed what are you what are you protecting what are you feeling overwhelmed about your sense of security the ace of pentacles this ace of pentacles is the manifestation of new prosperity to the seven of cups what do i do how do i manifest new prosperity what direction do i go how do i recover from this this six of wands in reverse this lack of success to the Two of Pentacles in reverse, this, this imbalance, this financial setback, how do I recover from this? Three of Swords, grief, sorrow, pain, separation, the lovers in reverse, a breakup, a misaligned relationship, Ten of Cups in reverse, loss, regret, bad feelings, a lack of emotional fulfillment. 
to judgment in reverse, self-doubt, bad decisions, bad decision got you in a place of emotional upheaval, misalignment of your choices, misalignment of the people that you allowed into your life somehow, some way caused a lot of grief and sorrow and pain. And now you're paying the price for it. Now you're paying the price for it somehow, some way. Now you're paying the price for it. Three wands in reverse. Didn't see it coming. Lack of foresight. Didn't see it coming. Didn't see it coming. Nope. Didn't see it coming. To the six of pentacles, right? You were just trucking right along. You thought things were great. The hermit in reverse. Withdrawal, isolation, loneliness, disconnection. The king of swords in reverse. A misuse of power, manipulation. Strength in reverse. Um, insecure. Feeling weak. Haven't overcome things in, in their life. Seven of Cups in reverse. Diversionary tactic. And the Fool in reverse. Foolish, naive, reckless. So what is this? Well, I'm curious to find out about this King of Swords. Let me ask a question here. Let me ask a question. So, Spirit, tell me what this King of Swords in reverse is. What is this King of Swords in reverse? <clears throat> oh, I sure wish somebody bring me a sweet tea. What is this? It's the Prince of Wands in reverse. The Prince of Wands in reverse to the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. So, lacking ambition, lacking focus. Eight of Pentacles in reverse, talking about... Um, Lacking ambition, lacking focus, Prince of Wands in reverse, not taking inspired action. They're misusing their power. Okay, that's it. Somebody is misusing their power over you. Okay? Misusing their power over you. Your advice with the Major Arcana is to withdraw yourself from the situation. Somebody's misusing their power over you. Okay? Reverse. Not taking inspired action. Um, maybe lazy and and um, living off of you, maybe stealing from your business, stealing from the kitty, maybe um, stealing money out of your purse, out of your wallet. But somebody is doing something here that is going to cause you a great deal of, quite frankly, financial despair. And you're going to find yourself scrambling as to how to stay afloat. That's what this is about. So somebody's going to misuse their power. Lazy, perhaps. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Lacking ambition or focus. Strength in reverse. You're weak when it comes to this person, though. Or this thing. You're, you're weak. You're weak to it. To the Seven of Cups in reverse. It's diversionary tactics. This financial upset is taking you off track, right? It's taking you off track to the fool in reverse. And it's foolish for you to continue to do this. Queen of Swords. You need to put some logic to the situation. Logic, reasoning, truth, right? Maybe you're refusing to see the truth about something. You are all tied up in the Eight of Swords up there with the blindfold on. Maybe you're refusing to see the truth about someone or something. But there needs to be some chopping done, that's for darn sure. There definitely needs to be some, some, some intellect and some truth and some logic applied to the situation. Ten of Pentacles, because your freaking future depends on it. Your money depends on it. Your security depends on it. Nine of Cups in reverse. Emotional discontentment. Emotional discontentment. What is the Nine of Cups in reverse? The emotional discontentment. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You being disgruntled about this whole thing right here. You being disgruntled about it. The resentment up there, right? You being mad about it. You can't be mad at nobody but yourself. Because 
if you would have recognized, if you would have admitted the truth about someone or something in the first place, you would have spared yourself this entire financial situation and the emotional dissatisfaction that it brings to you. Death in reverse. Personal transformation, right? Personal transformation. That's what's needed. That's why the Nine of Cups is in reverse, right? You need to take some kind of control over a situation in your life and have a personal transformation. Have a come to Jesus meeting to the alchemist in reverse. You're being manipulated to the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. You're being manipulated and it is causing upset in your sense of security, the home, the finances. You're being manipulated. Wow. Wow. King of Pentacles in reverse. I think this is the, the culprit here. Um, it also represents your lack of success, your sense of being out of control, seeing how it is the card of Taurus. Um, it, can, it can be Capricorn too, okay? Um, but I think this is the person domineering, controlling kind of thing that you're not willing to stand up to or... Take your power back from somehow, some way. To the high priestess. In your heart of hearts and in your soul of souls, you know. Because spirit is leading you in your intuition. You already know, eight of cups, that you have to stop this. You have to walk away from this situation, whatever that means. Does it mean you have to walk away from the person? Maybe. I don't know. It's a general reading. Get your cards read. But you definitely have to stop and um, disengage from this whole thing here. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Loss. Money loss. Security loss. Opportunity loss. To the star. Hope, faith, purpose understanding, knowing that there is a higher power that has your back, justice, and they will bring justice into this situation to the two of wands. There will be justice in the situation. Perhaps it's purposeful. This is purposeful justice. You seeing this once and for all is purposeful for your life with the star card, and it brings justice to your life with the star card. So now you can focus again on the future. Perhaps you're in a relationship and you're just distracted and you're so in love or so fighting or whatever that um, you just can't focus on things. Huh? The moon in reverse. Deal with your repressed emotions. The seven of pentacles. Reflect and assess. Deal with your repressed emotions and make a plan. Make a plan. Make a plan. Three of Cups. To, to have joy and celebration back in your life instead of the burden and the struggle of a manipulator and someone who's misusing their power in your life. The High Priestess. Spirit. Your intuition. Trying to lead you in the direction that you need to go. Interesting. Anything else right here? Anything else? Okay. Let's go to these. Okay, period. That was pretty much the reading. Okay, now we're just going to fill in a few little details and um, it'll probably repeat itself a little bit. Okay, so the Ten of Swords. An ending. Something needs to end or you have been betrayed. This is crisis no matter what. Queen of Cups in reverse. Hurt feelings. The High Priestess in reverse. Um, ignoring your intuition right? Ignoring your intuition. The Ace of Cups, because you got some love invested in this situation. Ace of Swords in reverse, maybe refusing to see. The Fool in reverse, that's foolish. The Sun in reverse, you're not seeing clearly. Two of Swords in reverse, you're not thinking clearly. Ten of Wands in reverse, you are creating this burden. Ten of Cups, maybe you're exchanging the burden for some kind of emotional fulfillment or emotional satisfaction. Somehow, some way. To the wheel in reverse. It's a blockage in your life. 
Deal with your repressed emotions. Release your fears. Seven of Swords. Somebody is trying to get away with something or deceive you somehow. The Devil in Reverse. you got to release your limiting beliefs about this person to the Prince of Wands and take some inspired action. Seven of Pentacles in Reverse. Because if you keep doing what you've always done, you're always going to get what you've always gotten. King of Wands in Reverse. You're dealing with some kind of egocentric, self-centered type of person. The Four of Wands, and it's in your in this. This is saying it's in your home, it's in your home, it's in your environment. Prince of Cups again. There's more feelings. The Prince of Pentacles. Um, it's going to keep going like this. Princess of Swords in Reverse until you get serious. All talk, no action. Until you get serious. Three of Pentacles about some cooperation or some some contribution of some sort with the Three of Pentacles. The Emperor, right? Take control of your life. The emperor is about the control, the authority, the establishment, the structure of your life. Take control of your life. Six of Cups. Take control of your environment. Possibly take control of your children. But take control of the situation. Three of Cups. Again, so you can reestablish joy. Three of Cups has been in this reading three times. Three. What's three? Three is initial achievement, growth, expression, communication. Right? It's been here three times. Three has been here three times. There's some growth. There's some change that needs to happen to restore happiness to your life. Five of Pentacles in reverse to get you out of the financial hole. This is recovering from financial loss to the two of wands. So you can focus on your future. That's what these cards say. I know this isn't a love reading. It might be. This is definitely a relationship reading of some sort. But I know it's not all of the stuff that's going around on YouTube about soulmates and love and how you're going to reunite and all the stuff everybody wants to hear, right? And sometimes that stuff does come out. It really does. Sometimes it comes out. But this is um, a foreshadowing for somebody out there. Um, perhaps you've already been through it. Maybe you're going through it. There's no resolution. It doesn't say, you know, I mean, it tells you how to, it tells you to stop doing this, right? To recognize what's happening and stop doing this, but there's no future outcome. It's just like a, a current situation that is about to happen in, um, in your life. And you have to be on guard. You're letting somebody take advantage of you. You're letting someone take advantage of you and they are um, causing grief in your finances and in your emotional um, comfort. Let's see what else do you have here, Spirit. What do you want to say for Taurus? One more for Taurus, please. One more for Taurus, please. One more for Taurus, please. Relationship change. Look at that. All right, let's read it. Relationship change. This card indicates... <laughs> This card indicates a time when a relationship in your life is going through a period of change. This adjustment is inevitable and necessary for the natural progression of the relationship, and the wisdom and experience gained will be of great benefit to all involved. Whether a child is leaving home, a partnership or friendship has ended, or a loved one, friend, work, colleague, or neighbor is going through a change, know that you and the other person are divinely guided and protected of it and have the strength to carry on. This card also indicates a positive relationship change, such as a declaration of commitment, for example, a wedding or an engagement. It can also indicate the resolution of an ongoing problem or dispute. In order to improve your current situation, you're being asked to adjust to and harmonize with the natural rhythm and cycles of your life, cycles that are leading you toward a change in relationship dynamics. During this period of transition, it's important to remember that as you grow and evolve, your relationships grow and evolve too. So be flexible and adaptable and know that all is well. There you go, Taurus. That was your reading. I sure hope it helped. Sure hope it helped. If you would like your cards read, you can reach me at thegypsypsychic.com. Namaste.